Hello, welcome to the first concert of the Music Today Festival. We are thrilled to have you join us for the first concert in the series. Today's presentation is actually a multimedia event, 13 separate videos of music and images created by members of the Oregon Composers Forum. Each composer was asked to write a work on a theme of personal significance during these unprecedented times and these 13 works have been put together into the single presentation that is about to begin. If you would like to see the program for today's concert, there's a link in the video description below. We hope that you enjoy these pieces and please join us for the rest of the Music Today Festival during the coming year. Hi, my name is Joanna and my piece is called Contemplation, written for solo piano. In this piece, I focused on the opening material and expanded it throughout the piece. In the beginning, you'll hear this unfolding chord clusters, and as the piece goes on, it reappears several times in different tonal contexts. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy.
My name is Jacob Henson, and I'm the composer of Unlit Place. Beginning ominously with a three-note motive that is expanded throughout the work, the general interval of this motive is preserved, but often reappears transposed in strange ways. This piece can be viewed outwardly as an expression of hope and a longing for a generation during tumultuous times, but it can be about much more. I invite you to explore this work personally and uninfluenced, without preconceived notions impeding your interpretation of this piece. Please enjoy Unlit Place.
Hello, my name is Mitch Davey, and this next song I'm going to play for you is called Vote Out Loud. I wrote this song in the month leading up to the recent United States presidential election to bring greater awareness to one of the biggest threats facing our democracy, that being voter suppression, an illegal political tactic used to prevent voters, mostly voters of color, from reaching the polls. There were millions of Americans who were unable to vote or discouraged from voting in this past election due to voter suppression especially in states that have proved critical to American elections in recent times. I hope that this song may raise awareness for this threat so that the integrity of American elections may be upheld in the years to come. Please enjoy Vote Out Loud. One, two, three. Many people of color live in America light As citizens stripped to their constitutional rights Now here we stand, our democracy on the line Praying for some intervention from the divine but Even today in this land we call free People are turned from the poll using voter IDs States purge their rolls using illegal means And gerrymandered districts keep the white men in their seats This is a war for the soul of America Until one person, one vote is achieved Cast your ballot with pride, shout your vote out loud Fight for what this country's meant to be A true democracy, fair and free For the sake of all of those who have paved the way who have given the life so that we may vote today Please do not believe all the stories that you hear Do not believe the lies, trust the facts that are clear This nation's been living in political denial Hiding behind legal trial after trial Voter suppression hacked American elections Long before any foreign interjections This is a war for the soul of America Until one person, one vote is achieved Cast your ballot with pride, shout your vote out This country's meant to be A true democracy Fair and free Oh, well Voting's not a privilege Nor a prize to receive It's the most basic right Our democracy's conceived The people of America Deserve to have their say Stand proud, vote out loud, don't let them take your vote away. This is a war for the soul of America until one person, one vote is achieved. And cast your ballot with pride, shout your vote out loud. Oh, fight for what this country's meant to be. A true democracy, fair and free. Yeah! Hello, I'm Rong Rong. 
This panel piece is called Socially Distanced Scherzo, and I made some comics to go along with the story. Hope you enjoy!
Hey guys, my name is Mark King, and this song is called Ingredients for Rocket Fuel. The lyrics of the song could be a bit vague, because I wrote it as a sort of conversation between two people. And the added sarcasm and metaphors, if you want to call it that, don't really add or help to determining who's who. But I do think the vagueness is important to the character of the piece. Really, it's just about politicians playing with people's lives, though I could also see someone listening to it and interpreting it as something else. Hope you like it. Tell me all your problems at the table As you empty the glass with no pay And as you pierce your skin with that loaded needle You can kiss this little girl's sad face Ay, 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 ay. I killed a man who sinned Let me go Cause I'm only dressing for the show You can beat her down and then really use her down because it's so much better to trade a little fuel for blood and gore oh, 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 oh. burn me now because I can't hear a single sound pour me out cause I'm the man who pleases the crowd Take your property and ask for more authority in my discretion secretly. Fly the heads in Mercury. Give me funds for rocket juice. I'll use it for some rock abuse. Let's sacrifice another truth so I could see his mother cry. Just maybe they should die. Hi, this is Zui. Uh, next is my new solo piano piece, Meditation. It's a reflection or complex expression of all the things that I've experienced in the year 2020. Uh, the too many things in this year give me a lot of thinking. One is the fragility of life in the face of disaster. Uh, the other thing is when disaster comes, the thing we take for granted around us suddenly become even more important, like family. Uh, so those emotions and thinkings are really hard to express by words. So I made this music, hope you enjoy it.
Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and everybody else. We have got a special program for you tonight. In the 2020-ness of 2020, uh, we're all experiencing some isolation, be that physical isolation, emotional isolation, or some combination of the two. And for me and for this next guest, it also involves moving 2,400 miles away from home and the isolation that would come along with that in, in any year, uh, and of course in 2020. So with all of that in mind, here's a good friend of mine, a good friend of yours, Herman Lopez with his piece for solo oboe, Missing You. Hello, my name is Daniel Ditoni, and the piece you're about to hear is called Dozojin. And Dozojin is a type of Japanese spirit or kami. It's a friendly, protective spirit, and it is found in Japanese folklore. Um, it is believed that they protect travelers villages, and individuals from things like epidemics and evil spirits. They are often represented 
in stone carvings or shrines, which are found alongside roads in rural, rural areas of Japan. Um, a little bit about the shakuhachi is that it is a Japanese folk instrument. It is a longitudinal flute, and it is played by covering five holes to elicit notes from the D minor pentatonic scale. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alex Didier, and today you're going to hear a piece that I wrote for piano called Levitation. The piece seeks to explore what I feel levitation would feel, sound, and even look like. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Sarah Jordan, and I'm excited to be here today to introduce my piece, Mystery and Fear, for solo flute. It is a short two-movement work meant to explore the possible emotional interpretation of the terms mystery and fear. I want to thank Victoria Calderon Moreira for the fantastic performance you're about to hear, and I want to thank the Organ Composers Forum and Dr. Robert Keir for making this project possible. Hi, my name is Jared Knight. I'm the composer of the next piece, which is called I Hide Behind My Music. This piece is inspired by conversations that I've had with three of my bandmates from Emergency Stopping Only, Lenny Escobar, Keandra Harris, and Colin McFadden. They often let me sit in on their conversations about racial injustice and 
this piece is dedicated to them and and so I hope you enjoy How am I supposed to know how my black brothers feel about the condition of our society? I call them my brothers because, regardless of ancestry, they are family to me as much as those which nurtured me from infancy. I would die for them if I had to, but instead I live for them because my own death is not requisite to prove my admiration and devotion. But in spite of my love and loyalty, I am conditioned by society to act disconnectedly from them because of complexion. Sure, I can study speeches crafted by Martin Luther King Jr. and read about dreams of black-white unity. But why, more than 50 years after this orator's assassination, are police guilty of cold murder still treated with impunity? I want to rend the air with cause for justice. To tear down the pride of politicians. To overturn all corruption that festers deeply in our government. But instead, out of fear, 
I hide behind my music and poems and pray that someday, somehow, I can shake off anxiety and effectively dissent. Hi, I'm Sarah Kitten, and I wrote a piece called Eucalyptus for my steel tongue drum, which has these eight steel tongues that are tuned on my instrument to the A minor pentatonic scale. And the sound has a really warm, relaxing quality to it. And I, always, I also sometimes hit the center of the drum, which has less of a defined pitch to it, or I'll hit it with the shaft of the mallet to make different interesting sounds. I hope you enjoy the piece.
My piece, sea glass, follows the piece of glass as it's shattered and taken away by the sea. As the piece progresses, the sharp texture of the glass is worn away by the waves. Eventually, a smooth piece of glass is delivered back up onto the sand.